Hi, everybody. Jeff Hemmelt from SFMSports.net. After uh, the Stevenson women fell 1-0 to Salisbury here at Mustang Stadium here with Coach Graham Miller. And Coach, uh, what can I say? A tough defeat here tonight against Salisbury. Uh, had an early chance with a penalty kick that uh, Kellen Whitman stepped up to take and uh, unfortunately missed it wide of the post. And uh, pretty even first half back and forth. And then just the chances were being snatched at. Just uh, couldn't break through that goal in regulation. And then a, a tough deflection at the end in overtime uh, for the one nothing defeat. Um, just give me your overall impression so far, uh, especially the first half with that, that chance that Kellen, I know she had to be a little bit disappointed missing that penalty. Well, you know, I mean, that's what people are going to talk about, the missed penalty kick. But, you know, Kellen was the only one to step up to, the, you know, to take the penalty because Megan Williams, who graduated last year, this is our first PK of the season. So, you know, Kellen created that chance. I mean, she created the chance out of nothing. She earned the penalty. So, you know, why not you step up and take it? And she did. And, you know, um, as we've seen in the guys' game earlier on, you know, it's uh, three missed penalties today. It's, it's, um, it's, it's a tough situation, that 12-yard that PK. So, um, you know, she, she, she did a great effort, and, and, you know, we can't fault her for that because then she played great the rest of the game. She didn't let it affect her. And then the rest of the team, I mean, I thought that was our best performance all season. I mean, uh, Salisbury's a good team. They've only lost a couple of games, and, um, you know, we, we keep them to zero goals. And, and really, I don't remember one clear chance they really had. Uh, so I was proud of the, the team defense, the organization. I was proud that we actually played for 90 minutes, um, which we I thought we actually played for 97 minutes. And, you know, it's just a tough goal. And, you know, sometimes that happens in soccer. It's a cruel game, but I'm proud of the effort, and I think we can move forward as the, and take this game as a positive. We saw in the men's game uh, that defensive line stepping up and the goalkeeper uh, for the men, Mike Tringali, stepping up with a bunch of time we saved. Your goalkeeper, Tiffany McKee, had uh, another solid outing in net. Again, not much he could do on that uh, the, the overtime goal, but uh, just give me a little more uh, feedback on the defender, defenders and the goalkeeper uh, really stepping up again. Uh, for you guys today? Well, yeah, I mean, Tiffany had to come off her line. She had to be ready, but I really, uh, it's her defense. Her defense gets the credit tonight. Uh, you know, Sam and Emily in the middle, uh, and Emily's been struggling with a little bit of a knock, and, and she didn't practice the last two days, and she came out here and was, you know, one of the players of the game. Sam Hooker, our freshman, you know, just killing it as center back, you know, just yeah. the great stuff. And then on the outside, rotating Shannon, Br Brittany, and, and Morgan, you know, the team defense was unbelievable. And I just, you know, they really didn't give Salisbury any, any breaks at all. And so I'm proud of the way they acted uh, um, back there, especially after we've lost some goals last week, you know, two to Frostburg, three to Catholic, to come into out of this game with, you know, one goal in overtime, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's a really, it was a really a big improvement on the defense. Bit of a hard run uh, recently, the uh, four game losing streak and then the uh, overtime win on Friday against Frostburg. Another tough defeat here. Uh, coming up, you have uh, Haverford, who's ranked, and then uh, Wilkes at home back to back nights. Uh, give me a little sky report on uh, both of those sides. Well, first, I don't like to do things easy. The, gir <laughs> the girls know that. We're, you know, what's the point of playing some Mickey Mouse teams that we beat, like, you know, eight or nine zero? That that doesn't help you with the at large uh, bid. So, sure. you know, we're going after, um, you know, the best teams, and it's only going to help us when we play, you know, I think arguably the best team in the country right now, which is Messiah. I mean, they just beat Misericordia three zero. So, so we have to prepare ourselves. So, playing Haverford, playing Wilkes this weekend, number twenty three in the country, and then, you know, a Wilkes team that beat us last year in overtime. It's only going to help us, you know, for. Um, for the, the conference playoffs and, and the conference schedule. Well, Graham, uh, commiserations again on the feed tonight. Uh, I know you guys will bounce back over the weekend. Uh, thanks again for joining us. Good luck over the weekend, and we'll see you back here at home on Sunday. Thanks, Jeff. Coach Graham Miller with me after the Lady Mustangs fall one nothing to the Seagulls here at Mustang Stadium.